Kids in Grand Parish got the chance to learn some basketball skills from one of their very own KLB's Jay McCauley went to the Grand Parish's inaugural basketball camp and learned to see what it was all about. It's basically like you had a boot camp before basketball and it's way funner. At the B-22 Sports Complex in Dry Prong, kids from the 3rd to 12th grade were able to run basketball drills. The camp was held today from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This is the first year the camp is being put on. It was made possible through a partnership with B-22 Fit, United Way of Central Louisiana, and Colfax Alderwoman Tamika Hamilton Price. Price says she wanted to do something for the kids in her community. So he's, we started talking at that point about organizing some type of event, and since he coached, he wanted to do basketball camp. But in addition to the camp, he also expressed interest in a learning side of it. So she brought in Colfax native Kenny Sykes. Sykes played basketball at Grant High School and then went on to play for Grambling State. In addition to Coach Sykes leading the camp, kids also got the chance to do some learning activities. Those focused on aspirational goals and encouraging students to achieve their dreams. Proctor and Gamble was on site to show the older kids some of the career paths available to them after high school. Coach Sykes says he's happy to guide kids in his hometown community down the right path. It's, it's always exciting to come back here. Uh, I think it was a dire need to do something for the kids in Carfax because, you know, with a lot of things that's going on and uh, kids getting off track, you know, I thought it was a good opportunity to introduce kids to basketball or, you know, the kids who already play to enhance their skills. The camp was free and Alderwoman Price has about 75 kids signed up. We spoke to one fourth grader who was grateful for the opportunity. I think that's really nice of them, just letting kids come here for free and having a very good time um, doing what they love and doing what they, their dreams are, chasing their dreams.